Welcome to Shelly's Cuisine. Today we're going to make corned beef and since I don't like cabbage, we won't be making corned beef and cabbage. However, you can add cabbage to this recipe in the slow cooker. We're going to use the slow cooker and I uh, have my slow cooker warm to brown and I've seasoned the meat already. Uh, in other words, I've marinated it and I have uh, black pepper, dried herbs, smoked paprika, I have a little bit of coffee seasoning, yes, coffee seasoning, and I have a little bit of dry jerk seasoning. And so I've seasoned the meat, and all I wanna do at this point, I wanna put a little bit of mustard. I love Grey Poupon mustard. You'll find that I use it on so many things. And I just wanna rub in a little bit of mustard. And you know when you uh, do the corned beef, uh, they, when you buy the corned beef, they always give you this little packet. Um, so therefore, it's at this time that you will put these uh, seasonings that they give you. And so you basically put them. Okay. And so now, I am going to put the corned beef in the slow cooker and I'm not going to brown it too long. I'm just going to put it in and I'm going to slightly turn it over. My slow cooker does not need oil, okay, to brown, I guess because it's nonstick and so that's even good for me. So there we go, that's in. I am going to add onions. This is about one medium onion. I have about three bay leaves and I have pimento. So I like to put extra pimento seeds, additional from what they give you. And I am going to use one cup of chicken broth. You can use chicken broth, you could use water, you could use beer. It's your choice. So we're just going to go ahead with that. You also want to be careful, you do not want to use too much liquid to cover the meat. Otherwise, it's gonna be different with the consistency. So you wanna make sure that the meat that you have in the slow cooker, the liquid is lower than the meat. Okay, so this is our twist. It's unusual, it is apple cider vinegar. You only need a tablespoon of this. Putting the apple cider vinegar in this, is what is going to make your corned beef very moist. And that's it. Believe it or not, we are going to put this on high for three hours. And that's it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to come back in three hours and it's going to be ready. We'll see you back shortly. Okay. We're an hour and a half through, and I'll just check to see how the corned beef is doing. At this point in time, it's coming along nicely, and so I'm going to turn it. I just want to let you know, if you didn't want to turn it, you don't have to. So I'm just going to turn it. Okay, we're back. It's been three hours and our corned beef is ready. So, looks very nice and very tender. And I let the corned beef rest for 15 minutes after I turned it off. So, uh, I'm ready to cut. Wow, corned beef is pretty neat, pretty smooth. That looks absolutely great. Very juicy and nice. Okay, and so, what do I have to do? I have to taste. So, I will do that. Beautiful color on the corned beef, very juicy. Very soft, very moist, and absolutely delicious. Thank you for visiting Shelly's Cuisine. Thank you for making corned beef with us today. Please subscribe to our channel. Visit us on www.
Shelly'sCuisine.com to find the recipe. Tune in next week to find out what we will twist next.